Simultaneous, Jeff. This is David. Hi. It's so loud. I can Hello, scream. David. I'm I'm in the Let's... secret bunker again. Ooh, the secret bunker. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Let's play Monster Hunter World. Yeah. Last time we beat the game. Now let's play the last quarter of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the once you unlock your hunter rank, uh, it'll get it'll get stuck again at HR twenty nine. Mm hmm. Because you have to do another uh, story mission kind of it's an assignment. Mm hmm. Uh, first one, double tempered basil juice, uh, which I am doing with the light bow gun. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's good because with bow or light bow gun. Yeah, bow or light bow gun. Because the basil juice, when it's tempered, uh, does a lot of damage and explodes you and the randoms that you're playing with very frequently. I was very proud of my performance here. Mm -hmm. I did not explode very often. Yeah. How did you first fight the? Uh, we, did we do the double basil juice? For you? Uh, you did I did the double basil, the tempered double basil juice I did on my own. Um, and that one I did Just with a bow, up. and it was fun. Or no, I did a gun lance uh, on the PC playthrough, and as long as I have my shield up with the gun lance, I'm uh, nigh unkillable. So it just, <laughs> nigh unkillable. It, it could still happen. It could still happen, but uh, it just took some time. But I managed to do it. Uh, both of them are here. Yeah. That's not ideal, but I've I've got a long range weapon. I've got my my nice auto shotgun mm -hmm. Karma. It looks so nice. Is that the stealth hood? Uh, this is the vitality mantle. Oh right. Not as good. Um, uh, not a vision mantle. Uh, temple mantle, which we don't have access to yet, but we'll get to eventually. Eventually, it'll happen. So th this is basically just a. At this point, it's basically a one-hit prevention. <laughs> so yeah. if I get exploded, it goes through the, the glowing uh, green around my health bar, which is representation of the vitality mantle. Yeah. I don't know exactly how much extra health it represents, but it is basically a shield from yeah. like Halo or something. Except it doesn't regenerate. Well, it technically it does. I after, mean, eventually the mantle, the mantle works again. Put it back on. Oh, hey, good I'm dodge. Fine. Nope. Never mind. Didn't have enough time to get that one. <laughs> I mean, that one really uh, wasn't your fault. That's that's fair. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep. I'm a little on fire, but that's okay. I mean, yeah. It's, uh, it's on brand. This is basically an Indiana Jones sequence, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> as I run away, if, this if the folder was on juice. fire and exploding and sentient. <laughs> yeah. Once you realize that, well, underneath the basil juice is the most dangerous part, but once you realize that it's basically, it puts its head in the ground and runs forward about its body length, uh, once once you can get that sort of distance down, you're pretty much good. Yeah, you're for pretty safe. Basil, especially with a long range weapon, which is what I prefer for basil. Uh, that, that or, you know, something heavily shielded. He's doing his carpet bombing. Yeah. It's real great when he then lands in it and uh, explodes and hurts himself. I'm not really sure why that a flash didn't work, but here we yeah. go. Oh, hey, there's oh, another hi. guy here. I didn't get out of that particular spot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> better. It's better now. Yeah. Where, where are your butt? Oh, there are your buddies. Okay. They're, they're around. I so see an insect blade and uh, two, two charge, charge blades. blades. Nice. Um, I'm using wide range. Very useful for um, all reasons, <laughs> yeah. especially random reasons. Yeah, every every set of armor I take in now just has as close to full wide range as I can give it. Oh, is this shot? Shots are not on point. No, that, that was a lot of missing there. I thought you said you were proud of your performance this time. Uh, I, I am. Despite the, the bad paralysis, there was some good, uh, <laughs> there was some good Indiana jones -ing Yeah, yeah that's true. Some good uh, dodges right out of the, out of the you know, hip check. You gotta keep Blaine alive. Alright. Because these are tempered, mm -hmm. they gain immunity to flash pods after three. Mm -hmm. Which is true of all the tempered monsters. Although it's much more noticeable on the ones that can fly. Yeah. Um, uh, is the most annoying on the ones that can fly. Say, 
the Baffle Eye. <laughs> or <Yes>. Kushala Dara. <laughs> or Dala. Yes, the old Kushala. Which is the worst. Yeah. Like tempered or otherwise. Just the regular Kushala is fine because you can keep knocking it out of the air with nine limited supply of flash bombs. Mm -hmm. um, watching the speedruns of like the arch tempered Kushalas is impressive and also not impressive at the same time. Why is uh, that? Because it's, it's, because it's just CC chaining, that is to say, knockout chaining. Okay. Which, you know, you, is like, you do a long sword, you have, you have your long sword with all of your, you know, attack boosts and all of that kind of thing set up so that it's maximum deeps. Right. <laughs> um, but then it, it's, it's just time it, you time it out so that you knock the Kushala out so it's on the ground, which is enough time to do a full spirit combo, level up to red, and then start the uh, spirit helm splitter. Mm -hmm. So that when you land, it's right when it gets back up. It takes all of the spirit helm breaker at once as knockout damage, and it gets knocked out again. And then you repeat. Because of the spirit helm breaker hit, you auto-generate your spirit meter, you do a full spirit combo, level up to red, do the spirit helm breaker on its head, it stands back up, you land on it, it does KO, it knocked out again. You just chain that and for uh, for the regular tempered version, you know, you chain that with maximum deeps for like a minute and a half and it dies. And then for the arch tempered one for like six minutes. Now for like I say that's impressive and not impressive at the same time because when it's done correctly, it's just a loop. Mm -hmm. But then you know, you, you if you play with randoms, <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> no, no, you Imposs can't. Impossible. Right. Yeah, because the the all of the KO values and everything are greatly increased for uh, multiplayer. Ooh, good dodge. Plus, the monster will always be changing its uh, focus, which just means in Kushala's case, it's just really a fight because it's just wind everywhere. Mm -hmm. At this point, we pretty much got these guys unlocked. the The randoms I had were. Um, they're actually doing pretty well. Yeah. Did I, did I explode once? No. Lin, it was that guy. Yeah, Lynn fainted. No. Much like in uh, <laughs> in Fire Emblem. Lots of damage, very squishy. Trying my best to uh, keep everyone alive. <laughs> you're it's the doing God's the work, really. <laughs> Look, it's the best strategy if you're playing with randoms. Yeah. Especially in doing tempered stuff. It's very. Uh, I guess Queen is good. Yeah. That's fine. It's like we we got this, no big deal. Lots of lots of shotgun and yeah, lots of mines. I, I occasionally, yeah, I remember the mines are there. I was really hoping, I was hoping that it would kind of move to the side, but uh, as as you can see, they're 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 basically done at this point. Their their EKJ are basically flatlining. Yeah. Are you gonna kill them or are you gonna capture them? Oh, we're definitely gonna capture. Them. Okay. Just <laughs> that makes everything go by faster. Right. Trying to get that paralysis. There we go. These paralysis shots were much better they, than the earlier They all ones. hit. Yay. <laughs> Let's put some mines down. Yeah. I like how they float on the surface of the water. That's nice. That is nice. All right. Now, now he's limping. He's away. Or bad. Come on, jump up. No, you want to. No, I died. Oh. D -d -d -died. Now, are, are these randoms going to swear at you for capturing, like the last group I played with? What's wrong with those people? Capturing is always better. No, they, they just really wanted to kill that Rathian. Don't know why. Yay! Anyways, yeah, at, that, at that point, they were both basically... Uh, the, 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 the worst part of that particular... <laughs> fireworks. The worst part of that mission is at the very beginning when they, they kind of come to the same spot. Yeah. And you, you really just have Listen to leave. To me. Like, if you're doing melee, just don't be there. Right. So, we finished that. We're, our, uh, our HR has been unlocked again. Well, it's been throttled at 49. Talk to the commander here. Commander Nier. <laughs> commander Nier, yes. The best leader. This is the, the, last, uh, the last of the uh, throttling for your HR is... Thunderous Rumble in the Highlands, which is a tempered Kirin. Mm -hmm. And I love fighting Kirin, but we're going to prepare for a Kirin <laughs> by stacking Thunder Resistance. Right. 
Uh, we're not going to stack paralysis resistance. Uh, we will have stun resist. Uh, I'm going to power up my armor mm -hmm. to the point where, you know, <laughs> see, I've, I've got 21 thunder resistance. And this was a, this is before eating for thunder or for elemental resistance, which will boost that up even higher. Right. And that the, the yellow number, which represents it's basically a percentage reduction in that type of elemental damage. I helped with this so, one, didn't I? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Did were you in this one? I, I thought I did, but eh. I don't remember. If you, if you see you in the corner, then you were there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, though. Okay. Uh, I really, I really like the atmosphere because the map is completely empty. Oh, it so is. So I didn't is like realize very, that. It's like very quiet. <laughs> And then you just kind of find find the sparkle pony. Yeah. Murder the sparkle Look pony. Look at his majesty. I'm going to get you. I'm just. Okay. Well, hold on. <laughs> no. That's not how it's that just, works. It gives. It just does not care. <laughs> like, okay. Look, we're going to try this again. Yeah. I know where you're going. Like, I can see. I can see your trajectory. I've got my. I'm using a great sword because I think fighting Kieran with a great sword, specifically a, um, oh. you know, a crit draw kind of. <laughs> All right, you get, on, wait, wait. you get another wait, shot. You get another shot. Got this. Got this. We got this. E tunk. There it, <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't as impressive as I maybe wanted, <laughs> right. but we're we're in it. And it's a winner. So I really like fighting with the great sword because it's. Uh, I have three. I've, I've I've slotted in, like I said, in addition to having a whole bunch of thunder resistance, mm -hmm. which makes me immune to thunder blight, uh, and then also I'm using the like the thunder mantle and. Which gives me like an I don't know, it's something stupid like I eventually get like sixty or seventy percent thunder resist after eating for elemental resistance mm -hmm. and putting the mantle on. So basically, if I get blasted by you know face first with lightning, it's not going to one shot me. Yay! Uh, but also, I, I feel like it's it's Kieran is very easy to fight mm -hmm. with a bow. Yes. It's basically, if you want to get it done fast, just use a fire bow. It's weak to fire. Mm -hmm. but I actually enjoy using the great sword. Because it's very much get in there, do a hit, and then I have three. Like I said, I got three points in quick sheathing, so I can get that on my back quickly and just <laughs> run away. <laughs> so I'm basically only doing draw attacks, which right. in in previous Monster Hunter games there's a style. Well, technically, you do it here too. It's called crit draw style right where you can get bonuses where you get more affinity on the first attack you do from uh, your unsheathing attack. you missed there jeff you, you missed. i did but it missed me too <laughs> so that's fine i i would like to point out these. if you have <laughs> uh your the guard skill uh, all the way up uh, and you have the ability to block unblockable attacks uh you can you can pretty much no sell everything Kieran does, <laughs> and the shield up poke with the gun lance hits him right in his stupid face. So well, there you go. So you can Some just do that until you knock strats. him over, and then just unload in him. It's great. It's even you can even use it on the arch tempered version. Greedy on that one. Just you have to be very careful. Yeah, I've actually I, I did one arch tempered uh, Kieran with some people. Uh, some people at work, mm -hmm. so it was not not randoms. Right. I guess technically there were. I had not met some people before. And like, explosion. They were the same, oh, okay. Hey, you made it out. Good on you. The, the kitty, kitty got kitty blasted, but, but whatever. He's fine. I've got. I've got. I've, I feel like I'm. I'm confident in my current positioning for the most right. part. Uh, but yeah, I was doing because I was like, oh, I haven't done the arch tempered um, ones, and the arch tempered is just an even har harder, right? More healthy. Way more, more damage. And hardy. <laughs> yeah, it does way more damage, but at a certain point, you fight it the same way. It doesn't have new moves. Right. Not really. No. So, like, this particular lightning attack where it covers, like, three or four spots at once. I mean, a lot of people thought that that was, like, an exclusive move. To, that was a bad dodge. But, Ooh. saved by my thunder resist. Ooh, you have a, a friend. It's not me. <laughs> hmm? Yes, I, I had thrown the, uh, the SOS out, yeah. so it is not going to be a solo solo effort mm -hmm. fortunately actually much like the uh, the double basils we finished both of these on the first try good good to know right but the arch tempered the arch tempered version of the kieran doesn't really fight any, uh, it doesn't fight differently it just has more health and it can kill you faster so like if you have fully augmented and maxed out armor with the you know resists that i have in the thunder mantle it'll take like 90 percent of your health if you get blasted in the face yeah 
which is kind of annoying, but I already do hit and run tactics with Kieran anyways, and at that point, if you just... It's it's no different fight. What I'm trying to say is that it was it was built up a lot more. There was a lot of smack talk in the Discord <laughs> <laughs> about like, oh yeah, let's go in and see what happens. I was like, I'm confident. It was like, I'm gonna use a great sword. Even everyone else is just you know using bows because again, it's safe and it's also the most effective <laughs> because you could be doing damage the whole time. Basically, also bows are the best weapon. So easy. Yeah, they they do have like the highest DPS I think of all the weapons too. Mm -hmm. Just just because it gets ridiculous, even especially if you have mighty bow. I'm very satisfied with that. Yeah, it was a really good hit. That was a really good hit. All right. Um, it's time to go ride this pony. I, I will say, like, being a bow welder, I also feel like a flip wizard whenever I'm using it, so. <laughs> this is the only time I'm going to be using charge attacks. <laughs> when it is down, Yeah. and I have just barely enough time to get that third one out. Yeah. Even this is a little risky. <laughs> it started the combo a little bit, yeah. just like a, a few frames later. Yeah. Which is why I'm not going to even do... Sometimes I'll just end up doing, like, the second level charge and then charge that up, mm -hmm. because although True Charge Slash is highest DPS, you know, it's, it's any DPS is better than none. none right. Because you whipped. <laughs> yeah. So, like, this one, standing up, just let it go. Yep. Stupid... Dang it. <laughs> just stupid head. <laughs> Very disappointed. Yeah. Stupid Kieran. But, yeah, we, did, we went through the arch-tempered uh, arch version of the fight, and... Uh, and I did just fine. We got we got little damage numbers. I was able to do like 18, 15 to eighteen percent damage. Nice, which I think is pretty good for a great sword with you know a team full of bow users. Because yeah, bow users. Mm -hmm. so I was like, oh, okay, I feel good with that. Yeah. Also, I never I never you know died. So I'm just I'm just putting it out there. I was like, oh, did okay, guys. Did other people die? <laughs> I, you know what? I don't remember. So, in the <laughs> telling of the miss? story, I'm going to say that they all did. <laughs> they all did, David. Oh, wow. <laughs> Everyone died. They're not here to say otherwise. Yeah. I mean, were they mm, the people that, jump. that will appear in later episodes? Uh, one of them was. Okay. Uh, and there were some other people in their Discord, which I don't remember the names of, but we, yeah, we were just doing some, some arch and stuff. I mean, well, I can just ask one of them, I guess. I suppose you could. Right. Oh, we've that got, missed. We've got is is done the normal thing where it, no, it didn't it missed. I think it did set off the. Oh, okay. And he's dead. But, but anyways, we we got to the point where it was it was limping and everyone put their bombs down. True charge slash. Yeah. Knocks it out, and then we're done. That carrot is dead. Yeah. And your hunter hey. rank is fully removed. Went up to 54. It's, uh, it has since increased since then. So now when we're past 50, we can do Tempered Elder Dragons. <gasps> which did like the uh, the nine, nine star. Well, there's other nine stars we've been able to do. But Tempered Elder Dragons like this horrible Kushala <laughs> as an example. <laughs> Failure condition. Faint two times. Uh-oh. Uh, surprisingly, was, this works out fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> this stupid Kushala just... <laughs> <laughs> you start you just <laughs> you put a bunch of bombs next to it just to be a jerk. <laughs> it's like <laughs> this is stupid guy missed. <laughs> oh no. So I'm just gonna run in there and do a poke. Just do just did the Almost I just needed There it is. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Not the most efficient, but here we yeah. are. We're playing like like I said before. If you're doing randoms with tempered, you want you want to keep them healthy. You got to keep them alive. Crim is not you looking good. Keep them alive because and don't just don't even worry about <laughs> doing flash pods because everyone will inevitably not know that flash pods don't work after the third one. Slash. Also, I'm gonna say that I framed that dodge. I'm just saying that was really good. That whole dodge. Well done. Was very good. Uh, that thing you need guard up for. Yes, you do. <laughs> Uh, but the the fight goes the same did as you any switch normal weapons? Kushala. I did switch weapons. And sets? Uh, the the lance was not working out. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's 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 so funny? It was just that was just good. That's just good multiplayer play. Oh. We've never got everything set up. We got our buffs on. Here comes that off screen kill shot. <laughs> oh boy, it didn't murder your frame rate that time too. Nope, not this time. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> he died. Yay. 
Good job, guys. <laughs> when you beat tempered elder dragons, you can get things called stream stones. That. Ooh. Gleaming stream stones and stream stone shards and other things. Mm. Stream stone, I think the shards are for your armor and then... You can actually get regular stream stones, stones are for your armor. The named ones are for your yeah. weapons. Named ones are like this. I got a blast code functionality Ooh. jewel. And these are where you get the higher level gems, jewels. Hey, look, it's a warrior stream stone for the shaft, which is the insect glaive. Mm -hmm. um, the stone thrower and footing and whatever. Tremor is this. That's that's good for for Devil Joe, which we'll get to. But yep. but yes, once you get your first one of those, you go to the smithy and you'll get the tutorial for augmentation which means you can not uncap but you can increase the cap on the uh the uh armor mm -hmm. upgrade limit removal which you need stream stones to do this and then you can go up to basically like 75 ish defense right. maximum per piece it's so and pretty it's much all very, the armor very has expensive the same. yeah <laughs> Yeah, yes. Very expensive, though. Yes. <laughs> Requires a lot of, of yeah. armor shards, too. Mi mi armor mini, spheres. Yeah, mini armor spheres, lots of shards to break the limits, spheres to get them up there, hard armor spheres, um, and then lots and lots of zinni, because those last ones are, you know... Stupid expensive. 50 to 70,000 per level at a certain point. Yeah. You, you end, up, end up spending, like, 500k at a time just to get a single piece of armor up. But... but you get the augmentation you can also augment your weapons which is very fun mm -hmm. if you have a weapon at the end of its particular weapon tree so it can be a rarity six seven or eight uh for example like uh the baroth lance i had is six which means it has three augmentation slots rarity sevens have two augmentation slots and then the rarity eights have a single augmentation slot and technically the rarity eight ones use the hero versions of the stream stone and then the rarity six and seven use the sort of warrior warrior versions and then the sevens use two warriors per so you're basically looking at a warrior stream stone per augment for six two per augment for seven and then a hero's per augment on eight and usually a lot of other stuff like a, a xeno gem and a teostra gem right. and you know a bunch of other things uh, but you can add base raw damage to your weapon. You can add base affinity. You can add a slot, or you can yeah, add. Um, uh, I guess you could add a defense bonus, but don't do no, that. Why, no, uh, no, don't do that. No, absolutely. Uh, but all of those are garbage because you could add health augment, where which is ten percent life steal. <laughs> which is the best <laughs> it's so good uh and this allows me to make my uh, my ideal sort of like um uh vampire set where i'll, I'll be putting together the vampire set mm -hmm. and if not the next video then a few videos from now where i'll be using a you know a lance with lots of the val hazak uh super recovery and then put augment health augmentation on the lance so i can just keep poking stay healthy and then every time your health is full you get attack bonuses because of the you know the Valhazak stuff the peak performance bonus I find that very satisfying to play and this is why it's fairly even split between weapons as far as the ones I use just because I like to use all of them but Lance is definitely out in front just because I find it very fun to <laughs> to poke and jump and like Lance charge and health steal. It's good times. The next time on Monster Hunter, we will be going at, well, actually, no, that's, that's the one after that. We'll, we'll actually be looking at the anniversary festival. I guess technically the appreciation fest, <gasps> uh, which, which came out for the, the year anniversary of the release of the game. Which is apparently and done great for Capcom. <laughs> Yes, best-selling game of all Capcom time. Yeah. <laughs> Which, there's a lot. Look, I'm excited about the appreciation vest. I'll just let that uh, ambulance go by. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's kind of right outside the door yeah, there. Weird. Kinda, yeah, weird. Kind of, okay. Yeah. But yes, the, the appreciation, appreciation fest is great. All of the festivals is basically, you know, you, you get, you know, some new, some new armor, new Palco armor, mm. or some new new event quests and all the previous event quests are back and we've got a bunch of event quests that we had not covered in previous ones and then the new ones are great and the the new armor is great it's all great mm -hmm. <laughs> the, good the new armor That'll is my permanent armor set 
Yes, it is. It is snazzy as all. And you get so many I'm decorations. So happy. I'm so happy for my, my my lady to have a nice suit to wear. Yes. Sort of a sort of. It, let's say it's a style combination I enjoy. <laughs> lady in a suit. Lady in a suit. Uh, if you have enjoyed this this uh, hashtag content that we have made for you. Uh, feel free to go to our Patreon, do the like, comment, subscribe thing. Hashtag content. <laughs> Hashtag content. <laughs> um, feel free to go to our Patreon, do the like, comment, subscribe thing. Any of that stuff helps us. We love making this stuff for you, and uh, that just makes it easier. Mm-hmm. I'm actually, I actually have the rest of the videos planned out. Yes. Yes, he does. There should be... And, and, and of course, this is the plan. It could maybe, maybe a plus or minus, but at least the plan for right now is to have forty episodes total, and then there there might be some bonus ones after that because there's still new things being put out on PC. But at least for now, the plan is to to just finish the Monster Hunter World series forty episodes. We will we will end with Behemoth, which I think is probably the best fight in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, we have a really so all, all this has been recorded already. Yes, and it's a very, it's a, it's a very entertaining fight as well. <laughs> I'm yeah. looking forward to editing that, but that's still a long way away. Yes, as far as editing goes, Monster Hunter. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Again, I get to be loud. It's great. <laughs>